think our service is second to none. We're a, a fully automated plant. We essentially operate two separate plants under one roof here. You can rest assured that you will turn in your products soiled and get them back looking clean as if they came out of the box brand new. And I think the cool thing about the plant when I give tours to people is that when they see the guys up on the belt sorting the linen, that's the last time that a human hand will touch it until it comes out of the dryer. Belfords is a, a complete linen rental services provider. Our hospitality linen line provides linen rental services to restaurants, banquet facilities, pizza shops, bars. And then we also have kitchen towels, aprons, those kinds of things for smaller restaurants and sub shops and things like that, as well as walk-off mats um, and all related products. It's basically brought in off of a truck in a, in, in a cart. It's dumped onto a conveyor line where that linen is then separated into, you know, by item, by category. Food and beverage linens are processed through a, a nine-step wash formula. The whites would be bleached, uh, colors would not be. Heavy soiled items such as bar towels receive, you know, much higher dosages of chemical. The, the, the process is a little bit longer through the, the CBW washers. And from there it's discharged into the dryers or into the plant floor. When our clean tablecloths and napkins come out of the washing cycle, they are stored in an overhead sling system until they were required to be processed. Some items are conditioned to a slightly damp stage. Some items are fully dried. Some items are, are not dried at all and just bypass the dryers. They're hung on the rail system, like you see behind me, and uh, directed to whatever finishing equipment they go to. We use uh, automated flat work ironers where we have feeding devices on the front of the ironers where a, a, a person simply clips the table in and into a, what we call a spreader feeder. From there, the spreader feeder takes the linen away, stretches it out, and presents it into the ironer in a very even, uniform fashion. When a tablecloth hits the ironer, it goes through eight rolls that basically maintain pressure on, on a cast iron chest heated to 350 degrees. That presses and dries and sets the starch into the table linen. From there, it, it's fed up a, a small conveyor into a piece of folding equipment where the items are folded and then stacked. We take four bundles of 25, segregated by color, shrink wrap them in plastic, and then they're inspected and put on the line then for eventual distribution to the end user. Automation in our plan is very important. We moved to this particular facility in 2004. We had a lot of customers that wanted to deal with us and we just couldn't do it in our current facility. We weren't very automated there. Once we moved here, we could say yes to uh, uh, you know, a lot of customers. Even though we are a very, very labor-intensive plant, the level of automation lowers our costs, which in turn provides a lower cost to the end user. And from a, a quality perspective, the, the most modern uh, automated equipment is basically the latest and greatest technology which helps us to produce the highest quality product we possibly can. I mean, my father said it before, my grandfather died in 1980, and he quite often looks at himself and says, geez, I wonder if dad would be proud of me that we're doing this, or wow, this is great how, how well we're doing. I wish Gramps was around to see this, you know, at this particular, this particular time. And we really feel that kind of responsibility to, to do a good job ourselves, to continue on, you know, through the generation.